so today's project is to adapt the dust collection port on my Grizzly model G0555 14 inch bandsaw to my shop vac. The Grizzly has the normal 4 inch OD dust port and my shop vac has the normal two and a quarter inch OD and two inch ID fitting on its hose which I think would normally be considered to be a two and a half inch hose. It's a little hard to see it with the ruler held up here but it's uh, approximately two and a half inches OD so this would be called a two and a half inch hose, but the actual fitting, at least on the ShopVac brand, is the two and a quarter inch OD. And <clears throat> just like the back of my rigid uh, spindle sander, or the back of my router table, or any of number of other tools, these all have ports on them intended to fit the size of fitting that's on my shop vac. They all just fit right in there perfectly. I had somewhat of a difficult time trying to figure out the right pieces to go together to adapt the dust port on the saw to the shop vac. It didn't seem like there was any single fitting that was really going to do what I wanted. Um, <clears throat> partially because where I've got my saw located normally it's going to be kind of hard to reach around the back and plug in the hose. I wanted to have it come out more of a right angle, so today I'm going to see if I can adapt this with the pieces I've uh, collected for the purpose. So I figured I had this dust port on the bandsaw. I was going to need some sort of a coupling, some sort of an elbow, another coupling, and a reducer. And the reducer could actually go here and then have a smaller elbow, or the reducer could go here and have a larger elbow but ultimately it had to go down to the shop vac size. And um, I did find a couple of companies that sold elbows that were reducers in and of themselves and elbows that were not reducers but were on the uh, diameter that would fit the shop vac. But everybody seemed to be out of stock on those for some indefinite period. <clears throat> and I only found one company that had a suitable right angle elbow with the proper diameter uh, four inch outer diameter and that's this one here. I'll go through which uh, places I bought these from here in a second in case anybody wants to duplicate this. Uh, but essentially I needed to have <clears throat> a coupling that would work over a four inch OD dust port and a four inch OD elbow and other coupling with the same dimensions and then a reducer that started out with a four inch OD on the large side and then would have a two and a quarter inch ID on the small side to fit the two and a quarter inch OD on the shop vac hose fitting. I started out by buying a couple of these couplings from Woodcraft. Um, this isn't their brand, they just carried it. It's a Wood River brand, but it's a four inch uh, coupling and I love the way these guys say this. Every This complicated the whole process because nobody was clear about IDs and ODs and it took quite a bit of digging, much more than I would have thought would have been necessary to figure out uh, what I was actually buying and usually I ended up having to call their tech support or email their tech support uh, and have somebody go out and measure it because even they didn't know whether their dimensions listed were IDs or ODs. It's just sort of a uh, pliable rubber piece of hose with uh, two hose clamps on it. And this should be a approximately a 4 inch ID. And uh, that's what it comes to, 4 inch ID. So that should fit. And then th uh, this is, uh, like I said, I bought it from Woodcraft. And it's their number 153235. And I bought two of these. 
Uh, next, there was some confusion over which was the best reducer to get. I ended up buying a Woodcraft 154294 and also from Rockler an 89195. This is the Rockler part here. And a lot of people sell variations on this, or maybe the same thing. Um, you know, it doesn't really say who actually makes it, but they carry it. And they list it as a 4 inch to 2.5 inch adapter. That's actually 4 inches OD. Or is it? It's actually somewhat short of 4 inches. So approximately 4 inches OD. And then over on this side, it's a nice clean two and a quarter inches ID. And two and a half inches OD. <coughs> so that's the uh, Rockler 89195. And then from Woodcraft, I got this somewhat different looking adapter. And let's see what the dimensions are there. This is a 4 inch ID, which isn't what I need, and a considerably larger 4 and a quarter inch, approximately OD, and then the inside of the, the small, or let's see, the inside, which is what I'm interested in, is two and a quarter, so that's good, with uh, approximately, well, yeah, it's a two and three-eighths inch OD, so I'm going to go over and see which fits my shop vac the best. So I want a reasonably snug fit so the hose won't fall out too easily. Um, here's the Woodcraft one, and the... Uh, Hose does hose fitting does fit into it, but it's very rather loose. Whereas on the Rockler part, it picks it up and looks like it'll hold it pretty well. But yet it's not. Well, if I can wrestle it out here, there we go. I think that's going to be the better fit, and it's also got the much closer to 4 inch OD that I was looking for to properly fit the hose adapters. So I think the uh, the Rockler part's the winner here for my application. It's got the correct OD on the large side and a better fit ID on the small side. So the final thing was to get a 90 degree elbow and if you weren't going to have a 90 degree elbow and you were doing this, you would just not buy the elbow and you'd buy one fewer of the couplings and just use one or the other of the reducers and one coupling to go to the saw. But in my case I've got the desire for a nine, 90 degree uh, angle on it so it discharges out the side. And uh, the only company I found that carried this item was Peachtree. Um, and it's their part number W1017, but um, <clears throat> even though that's what it says here, I think that's the manufacturer of this. It's not Peachtree's number. I have written down that it's Peachtree's number 418. So um, if you were to buy one of these, I think I'd look at their website for the 418, or maybe you could just Google the W1017. Okay, on further review, I've noticed that this 90 degree elbow does have a manufacturer on it, and that's Woodstock International, um, and that's their part number W1017. So, whether or not you get it from Peachtree, it's a Woodstock International part. So, with the rubber coupling on the dust port of the saw, the elbow can go on here. And uh, nut driver should make pretty quick 
work of tightening up the clamp. Alright, so now I've got the elbow on there and it's time for the other coupling. And finally the reducer can go in there. So that whole thing looks like it's pretty robust, doesn't look like it's gonna fall off or droop by itself. And the shop vac plugs in very nicely to that. So it's a whole lot more accessible now than reaching around the back, although that wouldn't have been terrible, but it would have had the shop vac hose curled around in a pretty tight arc, which I'd also like to avoid. So I want to use the saw, plug that in there, and I'm good to go. So the uh, cost for this was the um, <clears throat> Woodcraft hose couplers. Uh, the invoice says I paid $11. It's a little confusing whether that was per each or total for two of them. Uh, just for this purpose I'm going to say this is the price for two because that's what the invoice seems to say and I didn't check my credit card receipt. Uh, Peachtree got six bucks for their elbow and Rockler got $8 for their reducer for $25 total, plus shipping, of course.